Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in, well I'm back at home to be perfectly honest because this project is starting at home. I know I've been off the channel a little while, just been dealing with some stuff, I'm not going to go into all of that. I'm sort of keeping that for the clan on Patreon, so if you want to know what's been going on with me and sort of you're pleased to see me and all that sort of stuff and you all that, jump on Patreon, yeah, the link's down below, okay, but moving forward the channel is mainly going to be about terrain and that sort of stuff, which brings me to why I'm standing at home. One of the re one of the things that I've been doing while I've sort of been getting back on my feet, etc., is taking my models out. Now, it's been quite a few years since these have been on shelves. I don't think these have ever been on a shelf properly. Those haven't, and there's more models down there. And in fact, I've actually got enough Imperial Guard to actually do this entire cabinet. So this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and probably another shelf down there, to be perfectly honest, because I've got quite a lot of Imperial Guard. And it's about time the Corbanian first, yeah, got properly displayed. So this is what this project is about. I was thinking about what can I do, yeah, building-wise to get back on the channel that, because I've been doing the Burma build and I've little, tried Let's Makes and I haven't really got into the flow of them, if you know what I mean. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm sick of the Burma build, but I don't want the channel to become too Burma build heavy at the minute. And as I was putting them out, I was thinking, do you know what? I've been really wanting to have like a display board for these in, in my cabinets for as long as I've ever put models on shelves. And now we're in this situation, it's, I'm actually thinking, yeah, let's do it. And it's the perfect project to bring back to the channel and to get me back on the channel and to doing things. Because it's, it's something completely different. It's something I've not done before, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, so there's a little bit of challenge in it. And with the various types of armies and stuff I've got, it lets me do a load of different things to sort of show off different techniques. Now with the Imperial Guard, it's gonna be ruined building stuff, foam board, barbed wire, battle damage, all sorts of stuff. We'll have a play, I've gotta figure all that out, yeah? But before I can even start that, there's something I need to do. And that's sort of make a box. For it to fit in now my plan is to make the box out of xps yeah in the studio but before that i need to make some measurements now obviously if you're building something in here you're going to need the height the depth and the width but here's some thinking i've got to do one of the things i've got to do is i've got to take an inch off the height and an inch off the depth the widths are fine yeah but at some point i want to put glass on the front of these cabinets yeah, for me to put glass on the front of the cabinets, I'm going to have to put some sort of like mounting rail here and some sort of fixtures there. That means that when I want to take my display board out, I'm going to have to lift it up slightly. So I really need at least half an inch clearance, top and bottom, an inch overall. Same with sitting it back and recessing it. There's what you call it. I'm going to need about an inch space before it starts. So what I need to do next is, I need to measure all these up, okay? Get my basic measurements, and then we're heading over to the studio, and we're gonna watch clip. We're gonna get everything sort of boxed up and get our basic box together so we can start getting stuck in on this project. So without further ado, I'm gonna get my tape measure. I'll catch you in the studio. So we've made it into the studio, and as you can see, I've got my happy face on. <laughs> it's good getting back into things. I've missed it. Oh. Anyway, yeah, right. I've got a large piece of polystyrene here. Yeah, and I'm cutting it down. We're taking our dimensions. Okay, and now obviously it's important that I get really good correct cuts. And for that, yeah, I'm making sure I've got the right tool for the job, which is this massive T-square. Yeah, absolutely love it for working on this large stuff. Now I've measured things up and all I'm gonna do is start cutting things up. I've got a 10 mil watch for E, uh, XPS, and that's going to form the base of our box. Now, like I said, yeah, I could use like harder material, I could use EPVC for this sort of stuff, but this will work fine for making a box, and I can always base it with something firmer afterwards because this is a little flimsy, yeah. Once it's actually braced up and that sort of stuff, it should be fine, which is today's task. So, the first thing I need to do is start cutting it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the main bit which is 29 inches minus three in, three millimeters. I know, I know, yeah, trust me, it works. 
Yeah, and then I'm gonna cut it into the sections to build the box. So first thing I'm gonna do is get cracked on with doing these cuts. And once I've got my basic pieces together, I'll bring them back and we'll put them together, yeah? All right, see you shortly. So we've done our bulk cutting and I'm just working through, what shall it, doing the sides now. Now as part of this, what I want to do is when I've got the, the shelf up, I want to have sort of like a, a curve to it rather than it just being straight in it. Yeah, and so what I'm doing is I'm putting a little curve on my side pieces. But to make sure that they're rather cool and they fit, I'm using templates. And this is really easy. I've got these templates, bought them online, and all you have to do is that the template I used or did I use a different one? Is it that one? See, now I'm struggling. Yeah, it's that one. So as you can see, all I did was place the template there on the side, drew around it, yeah, and because it's a curve and it's standardized, I can make sure I can do this and I can transfer it to this one. So what I'm gonna do is do it on this one. Put that there. Make sure that's lined up rather nice. Quick draw around it. And get my blade out. Try not to rush this. And there we go. Nice little curved edge for you. And if I bring it up to the next one, yeah, perfect match. I'll take that as a win. Right, with that in mind, next thing to do is, I've got to box them all together, so I'll be back in a sec. Now I've got all our pieces cut and it's time to start putting them together. And it's gonna be my usual PVA. I'm gonna be using some pins to hold things in place. And I've got my homemade forms. And these are just bits of EPVC that I've been put together and hot glued to be in regular shape so I can do nice clean corners and angles and stuff like that. There's a video on those in the Back to Basics playlist. I'll throw a link up if you want it. But in the meantime, it's time to start putting this together. Now, it's important that we glue the right piece to the right piece, so always dry fit. Yeah, that's the one that needs to go. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is, first off, yeah, let's run some neat PVA just along there. And then bring it in. And give it a squeeze, a little bit of a wiggle just to make sure it's all lined up. And that is nice and clean. Next thing I need to do is I'm gonna bring my form in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it at the back just to hold that straight while I do this. Yeah, and the next thing I need to do is pin it. Now I'm gonna put quite a few pins in this, but just to start off, I only need a couple. And when you're pinning, don't push the pins straight in. Push them in at an angle. Yeah, if you put one pin in coming this way and one pin in coming this way, the board can't slide. It can't slide that way, it can't slide that way, and it can't slide that way. So, having watched got it, uh, your pins coming in perpendicular, yeah, it really works and helps to hold things in place. Right. Now I would pin it if I could get in my pins. Okay, this is taking the mick. All right, I'm in. So very quickly, I'm gonna grab a couple, just a couple of pins. And coming in here, I'm gonna come down here, 45 degrees. Pin that in. Let's quickly just make sure that's steady. And then this side, do the same here. And that alone will be enough to hold this in place. As you can see. Hey. Right, Ooh. don't want it coming away. Right, what I'm gonna do is just reinforce this with a couple more. Just now I've taken that away, just so it stays in place. So we'll go 45 degrees there. And just make sure we get this side done good. Yeah, 45 degrees there. 
and I'm very quickly going to pull that one out and replace it so it's nice and tight. Perfect, lovely fit. Now the next thing is my side pieces and these are just as easy because they're going to go in just like that, just like that. Yeah. I've just got to decide exactly where I want them to go. Right, so. I'm going to bring this up a bit, nice and gentle. Yeah, we're going to put this in here. Yeah, a little bit tricky, but we'll do it. Now, is it that way that it needs to go, or is it the other way? Uh, back in a sec. Right, figured it, I'm not having it. Right, let's glue it up. Yeah, so glue on here, glue on here. Yeah, bring it along. It's this way, isn't it? No, it's this way. That's it, beautiful. Right, next thing is get my form. Yeah, this will just let me straighten this up really nice and neat. Okay. Ah, right, that's why it's not lining up. That's better. Right, pins. Once again, 45 degree angles. Just like ah. I do love fiddling. Ah, right, let's push that in there. Quite a little challenge for this. Quite enjoying it. It's a challenge of building things that makes things fun. If everything was too easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. Right. That's it. And then just very quickly, we need to just pin this one in here. Right, uh, that's that one done. Next job, I'm gonna do the other one. We'll come back after it's done. So that's all the sides put in, it's all pinned, it's all glued. And other than a couple of little places, it's turned out all right. Now, as you can see, the box is okay, it's solid. I've just gotta wait for it to dry so I've got my frame that I can build my display board within. Now, when it comes down to the display board, we need to figure out where we're gonna put things, what elements we're gonna have on it. And that's some thinking time. So with that, we need to head back home, have a look at the shelf, have a look at the models on it and have a little chat. So cracking on time or oh, home time as it is. See you shortly. Right, with the box drying back in the studio, it's time for us to have a quick chat about the shelves before we wrap this video up. Now, first thing I want to say is there's a couple of things I want you to take notice of because this is probably the last time you're gonna see the models on this shelf yeah, before the project is done. So there's something I wanna sort of get into your heads, yeah, before I sort of take them off the shelves. If you're making a standard display board and it's to whack on a table, that's no problem at all because most people look straight down on this. In this case, with shelving, your eyesight is different depending on the shelf that you're looking at. It's also different depending on how tall you are. Now, I'm six foot, most people are a little bit shorter and for most people, yeah, they tend to be looking up at the shelf. So when I build my display board, what I need to do is make sure that I have a slope and elements at the back, such as these vehicles. Look at that, cool. How cool is that? Yeah. But elements like these, where are we going? There we are. Yeah. They're gonna to need to be put up quite high to be seen. So what I've got to do is just remember, if you're building something to go up on a shelf high up, that's a display shelf, what you need to do is just make sure you've got a good angle on it. Yeah, so that the models at the back can be seen in front of the models at the front. So that's the first thing that we need to sort of take care of. Now, what else do I need to think about? And do I need to mention? Mm, 
there's not much after that, to be perfectly honest. I think we're pretty good. That's the main thing. Now, my next job is I need to pack all these models up. I need to take them down to the studio. So we've got them next to the studio so we can build. So I'm going to get that done once this video is wrapped up. But I'm really looking forward to this build. Now, I'm quite interested for any suggestions and stuff like that of what you'd like to see in the back. I'm going for ruined buildings, foam board stuff, because it's a good chance for me to re sort of get back on top of those skills. But I'm interested to see what your thoughts are. In the meantime, if you'd like to see me back on your screen, just say hello. Links are down below. Obviously, there's, you know, the links are down below for all the usual stuff, you know, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff. PayPal, Patreon, if you want to know what's going on with me in my life and that sort of stuff. And also get, I'm also working on some behind the scenes footage for you as well. That's all going to be on Patreon. The links are down below. And in the meantime, I'm just glad to be back, guys. So, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in the next vid shortly. All the best, yeah? Ta-da!